the worst mixologist on the internet. What is their name? Janae. I have been tagged in this woman's cocktail creations. I cannot tell you how many times. I don't even know if they're making cocktails anymore or on the internet even for that matter because these cocktail videos seem old. <laughs> However, they're all over TikTok and all over YouTube. So it is my duty. Wait a minute, hold on. Where is my fan? I found it. It is my duty to react to these painful cocktail videos. Cause they're painful. It's like bottoming with no lube watching this. <laughs> so today we're gonna react to these cocktail videos and say what I think about them. Nothing about them as a person. Please no one go and send hate. I hate people that do that. But I cannot let people think that these are the right way to make cocktails. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well as like this video and subscribe for future ones. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday but sometimes I'm late just like your mom. <laughs> Enough. Hi. I'm Janae from Mahalo.com, and I'm going to teach you how to make a Long Island. This drink can be a little bit confusing. Some people are mistaken and think that tequila is supposed to be on a Long Island. It is. It, ver it very much so is, Janae. That's actually for a Texas tea. Now, a long time ago when the drink first came around, it did have tequila in it. But now I use triple sec instead. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the ingredients. You is that facts? I don't know facts. <laughs> The Texas tea part of tea comes from tequila as opposed to a Long Island iced tea. Excuse me? <laughs> Which uses gin instead of tequila. Janae? <laughs> Janae what? Excuse- Am I getting called out? How to make a Long Island iced tea. There are four alcohols and one liquor in a traditional Long Island iced tea. The standard recipe calls for a triple sec, gin, vodka, rum, and tequila. What? Wait a minute. I'm so confused. <laughs> Bartenders and alcohol enthusiasts. What is a happening right here, right now? I don't know what this is. Now just so that you could see, if you wanted to make this a Texas tea or a little bit stronger, you'd go ahead and just replace the triple sec with your tequila. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know what's happening. I'm making the video about the worst mixologist on the internet, and maybe it's me. <laughs> I mean, it's a cocktail that's a trash can of alcohol, so like, you're not gonna notice if one of them is missing. So who cares? At the end of the day, who cares? Let's see how she makes the drink. Then you're gonna do a half ounce of your triple sec, just to make sure, you know, we get a little orange something in there. First of all, that was not a half an ounce. <laughs> if you're not gonna measure it, you also like, you need a pour spout to control the liquor that's coming into the cocktail. And I always like to do a little bit more Coke than I do the sweet and sour. The sweet and sour. I always like to do a little more Coke too. <laughs> not anymore though, she's better. So you just want a little bit of sweet and sour, maybe like a half ounce of the sweet and sour. And then you'll do a full ounce of the Coke to make it mostly Coke. It just, it makes it, the drink taste a lot better. Actually, <laughs> actually, there's only supposed to be a splash of Coke. There's a, actually, Janae, there should not be more Coke in a Long Island iced tea than everything else. Am I, am I wrong? I'm not wrong, bitch. <laughs> She's not a bitch. She's actually a very nice lady. But there should be equal amounts of sweet and sour mix and Coca-Cola in that cocktail. The Coke shouldn't be more than the sweet and sour mix. And am, am I wrong about that? One ounce sweet and sour mix and one ounce of Coca-Cola. If anything, you're gonna go with half an ounce of Coca-Cola. Because the only time anyone has ever returned a Long Island iced tea, to me in my experience, is when there was too much Coca-Cola. All right, so we finish off our Long Island with some Coca-Cola Classic. And we've officially made a very strong Long Island. Did I learn or did I critique? I do not know. And now I'm just left feeling confused. <laughs> Hi, I'm Janae from Mahalo.com and I'm going to teach you how to make a mint julep. Now this drink is really popular in the South and also back East, probably because it has bourbon in it, which is really, you know, a Southern type of drink. She said, it's not out in the West because y'all it. <laughs> Only tough people drink whiskey like us down South. But you Fruity Fruit Loops out in the West Coast, get out of here. <laughs> Anyhow, what you're going to need is bourbon of your choice, mint, sugar cubes, a glass, and if you have a muddler, Great. If you don't, any kind of object. You know, this is fine as well. Basically just to kind of muddle up the mint and get the flavor in there. Okay, I hate that I'm relating to her so much, but I have said the same thing. 
Michael, you might be terrible. Also, I've never used a sugar cube for this. I usually only would use that if you're making like a classic old fashioned, but I would use simple syrup, which is basically like sugar, just a little more diluted. So like, it's not a big deal. So I don't know if that's necessarily a critique. Jenna. You don't want to leave the stems in there. It's not as good with the stems. You just kind of pull the leaves right off. Smack it, smack it like an ass. Jenna, you better smack that shit like it's fat as fuck. You always want to make sure to smack your mint to express the oils when you're putting them in a cocktail. Um, if you if you have a larger glass like this one, you might wanna do four or five. It just kinda depends on the size of the glass and how many leaves you're getting per sprig. That is too much mint. You're gonna need a nice good handful, basically, to give it that mint flavor that it should have. Yeah, a nice good handful, not three fourths of the glass, Janae. I'm not trying to drink the Rainforest Cafe, my girl. And then we need our sugar cubes. We're gonna do two sugar cubes. Feel free to do three if you kinda want it a little bit sweeter. No, three sugar, my girl. A normal mint julep, you're adding in maybe like one fourth of an ounce of simple syrup. Three or more sugar cubes. Also, please tell me you're gonna muddle that with a liquid. Right, <laughs> Janae. Now if you don't have sugar cubes, but you do have simple syrup. Also, I just want you to know <laughs> all that, <laughs> All that mint <laughs> with those sugar cubes is not gonna muddle properly. Because when you're using sugar cubes, you wanna put it right with a liquid so it dissolves and emulsifies in the cocktail correctly. I used the big word and I want everybody to give me props. So we're gonna go ahead and mash all these sugar cubes up, mash up the mint, get it good and mashed all the way together. I am gonna say this <laughs> because I have said to use anything as a muddler, whatever works. However, using the back of a spoon, something that your hands or anyone's hands have po possibly been all over. Not something you maybe wanna muddle with your drink. That, that just, that screams dirty to me. And I eat ass, Janae. And I'm worried about the, um, the health benefits we're, we're promoting here on the channel today. So now that it's all good and crushed, just gotta get some ice. We're gonna fill up our glass all the way with ice. Janae, Janae, you need a liquid. You, Janae, oh my God, girl. This is why you don't use sugar cubes for this. Then you're gonna put two ounces of your bourbon right in there. Two ounces, that's not free pouring. You don't have a pour spout on there. My girl, <laughs> two ounces. Who the hell? And she's not even done. That is like four to five ounces already. <laughs> I mean, I won't complain because I love more alcohol, but Janae. Just to make sure it gets mixed up, kind of you might want to go back and forth with the mint. You can choose to shake it up if you'd like, but sometimes I just toss it back and forth a few times. And look how the mint just plops in one spot when you do it like that. There's a reason you mix it because when you just pour it back and forth like you're at a frat house, you sorority don't be mean, Michael. This is a beautiful woman. She might have kids. She is someone's daughter. She might be a sister. She might be a mother. But the reason you don't slosh things back and forth when there's things like mint in it is because when you do it like that, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just plopping around the cocktail. Look! Look! Ah! And now you have a mint julep. You know, Janae, in the beginning, I thought that I was gonna, like, give, I was, I was gonna say sorry, Janae. I was gonna apologize. And I don't do that, Janae. But you really just slash it together in an unfull glass. Mint juleps, traditionally, you have a lot of crushed mint. It looks like a goddamn snow clone. Snow cone, not a snow clone. You got me fumbling my words, Janae. And the reason you don't put in so much mint as you did is because you also garnish it with a big mint sprig. So not only did you make it wrong, it looked like shit. At least tipsy bartender stuff looks aesthetic. A basic margarita requires tequila, triple sec, sweet and sour, and lime juice. Why would you use sweet and sour and lime juice, Janae? <laughs> sweet and sour and lime. Get rid of the sweet and sour, first of all. And if you're not using fresh limes and you're using artificial lime juice, which I've done in my videos, you use simple syrup 
and or orange decor and why do we keep using this cheap gold Jose Cuervo? What is the budget? I'm funding this myself in my own room, Janae, and not even I will go to that level. And I love citrus. I love, you will usually never hear me, I can't even speak right now. You will never hear me say to use less citrus, but this is too much citrus. We're gonna go ahead and put all of our ingredients into a shaker glass filled with ice. We don't wanna pour them directly just into the glass. It's important to get everything nice and shaken up blended so that you're not missing any of the flavors. Now she'll do that. Where was that for the mint julep? You have a, you, apparently you have a cocktail shaker, Janae. We're gonna pour one and a half ounces of the tequila into the shaker glass. And then we're gonna pour a half. That wasn't one and a half ounce. I could tell just by looking at that, that, that wasn't half ounces. And then we're gonna pour a half ounce of our triple sec, our little orange flavored liqueur. Then we're gonna go ahead and put an ounce of the sweet and sour in. And then all we're gonna need is a splash of the rose's lime juice. S sweet and sour mix is lemon and simple syrup. Lemon and simple syrup. A uh, margarita has lime juice, Janae. So why would you cut it out? Why would you cut out the lime juice for the lemon juice? Is are they both the citrus? Yeah. Is it gonna be not a margarita? Yeah. Now for those of you who like your margaritas maybe a little sweeter and you're not sure about the lime juice or maybe you don't like sweet and sour that much, another variation that I sometimes like to do is maybe a little bit about like a half ounce of the sweet and sour instead of an ounce and a half ounce maybe of the rose's lime juice and a splash of orange juice. That's an option that you can do as well. Never. 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 Ne no, it's not. No, it's not. No one, no one ever, d no one does that. No one d no. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have to, I just, give me, give me two seconds. Give me two, I need to walk away. Hey, Carla. Yeah, I know you're call. Yeah, I know, I'm, yeah, I know I'm calling you after hours. Yeah, I know you're my therapist and it's really late, but I have to talk. You know how you told me to call you when I'm like triggered so I don't do other vices? I just saw a bitch tell me to put orange juice in, in a margarita and I think I might be like spiraling. This is not something, no, Carla, you don't understand. She's putting orange juice in a margarita. And it is all set to drink. And that is how you make a returned. That's how you make a returned. That's how you make a returned and you don't come back. And honestly, I would never say this, don't tip. I'm not gonna get through this video. I'm not gonna. I chose to live on the second floor. My balcony is right there. I, I might dive, swan dive. And I'm gonna leave a note that says because she told people it was okay to put orange juice in a margarita. Hi, I'm Janae from Mahalo.com and I'm going to teach you how to make an old fashioned. I've been, I've been tagged in this. So I have an idea what's gonna happen. For an old fashioned, you need bourbon, maraschino cherries, orange slices, bitters, and then you can either have regular sugar cubes or you can use simple syrup, which- It's fine. It's fine, okay? Traditionally, sugar cubes work for this because you're mixing it with the bitters and the juices from the fruit that you're gonna muddle, right? Basically anything works. A wooden spoon end or whatever it is that you'd wanna use to mash it up. Look how terribly that was. <laughs> terribly muddled. Terribly muddled. It was terribly muddled. Once everything's mashed up, Go ahead and put like two, maybe three dashes of your bitters. And then we're gonna get- Nothing happened! Nothing happened! Nothing, nothing happened! She said put bitters in and nothing came out! Have you ever masturbated like m more than you should have? Like you stayed home from school because you pretended you're sick and you just spent the whole day going in on yourself. And then at some point you just start shooting nothing. That's what that did! Fill it all the way up with ice. And then you're gonna put three ounces of bourbon in. So this is a pretty strong drink. And not that many people order it anymore, actually. Three ounces. Three ounces, she filled up that whole goddamn glass. She filled up, she filled up that whole goddamn. Oh God, Car Carla, it's me again. She filled up the whole glass. The whole, Carla, the whole glass. I know I've called you about this before, but she did it again. So of course you want to make sure all those flavors get mixed up. So you're going to go ahead and kind of ooh, pour back and forth. And make messes all over the place. 
Coming from somebody who's a mess themselves. You don't shake an old fashioned Renee. That shit been sitting on ice. And I wasn't gonna say anything. Because sometimes there's a splash of water in an old fashioned, like that's normal. But you had that shit sitting on there. And then you shook it. You shook it, Renee. And that's how you make an old fashioned. Thanks for watching. If you have any drink requests, go ahead and send them. I'm gonna flip this table. I'm gonna flip this table! First of all, you would never put an old fashioned in a glass that big. <laughs> and then you would also just use maybe like a big ass block of ice. But if you don't have that, you can use smaller ones. <laughs> oh my god, I need a minute. And I'll have you all know that these videos are on a playlist called LA's Hottest Bartender. Bet, bitch. The Fruit Loop tastes exactly as it sounds, just like the delicious, citrusy, fruitful cereal. Oh no, we're not doing this again. We're not doing this again. You're the one who's, you're the one who did, this was in my last, this was in my last Bartender Reacts video. Oh! Janae, no. Janae, no. Janae. Janae! For those of you who didn't see my last Bartender Reacts video, she literally just mixes milk with blue curacao, which I have today taken the liberty to make. And it's, it's this. And I know this isn't gonna work. And if it does, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swan dive. This is just a liqueur with dairy. I'm gonna be shitting all night. But just to, just to prove a point, I'm not watching this whole freaking video because you're out your goddamn mind. But I will taste it and I'll let you know what it tastes like. Cheers. It tastes like Fruit Loops. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm jumping right. I'm done. I'm out of here. Goodbye. It's. It's right, but it shouldn't be right. <laughs> Carla, we're done because now she's just talking about flavors and bullshit. I haven't. I haven't had my butthole clenched that hard watching a cocktail video in a very, very, very long time. And I make mistakes. Like, don't get me wrong. I say things that are wrong on this channel. All the time. But that, that was insane. <laughs> what do you guys think about these cocktails? Were there any that you actually enjoyed? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe something's going on and I actually don't know what I'm talking about. And you think that these are perfect the way they are. Please let me know in the comments. Thank you to my patrons over on patreon.com slash MikeMGTV because of you guys, I'm able to do this and muster up the courage to actually sit through them all. This is insane. And special shout out to Jeremy68110334 for retweeting my last video on Twitter. If you would like a special shout out, don't forget to retweet my videos every time I post them. And with that, I am so freaking, I'm gonna, I need to make my own goddamn cocktail to remind myself I am okay. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. As always, I'm Mike MGTV and you're fucking welcome. Bye-bye.